What's up, Amiga people, and welcome back to Something Else Amiga. There's an apple on my desk, not a computer. Yep. Doesn't taste like chicken. Here in front of me is an Amiga 3000D. Revision 9. And you're like, doesn't look too bad. But it is. This was a scavenge to be a re-Amiga... 3000. So I'm going to re Amiga the re Amiga Amiga. Right? And it looks mostly intact, but it's missing like some stuff. Two components that I'm going to have a very, very, very hard time finding. Maybe there are replacements. Most of my problem is going to be with the logic and the way it was taken out. So it was just kind of, whoop, yanked, meaning it ripped all the traces around most of the pins. Both videos are missing, as is the audio, the chips. Uh, I do have an amber for it. The owner did send me the amber. I got a source at 8372B, Agnes, or a 5. I'll do a jumper mod uh, across the, the capacitor mod across the PAL NTSC. People are just not pin compatible. See my tower video, buddy. Uh, anyway, this is some control logic down here, and the chip RAM, and the dip RAM, and the CPU is gone. Gary, the DMAC, I gotta source all those. It does have a Buster 07, and it has a Ramsey, which is cool. And it has the FPU still on it. I don't know why they just didn't just buy a CPU versus tearing this one off. So whoever did this scavenging, you should slap yourself right now. I'm going to zoom into a small section near Paula. That's this girl right here. Normally in that spot next to those chips is an E564 phase lock loop, a 745, another something something uh, for the Oki data. Red, green, blue for amber. Also the caps and the vidiots and the buffers are okay. That's those big long bad boys right there. Also the uh, audio dude, yep, Tracy, uh, yep, that thing, and you know, you're like, oh, that looks too bad. Well, you can see here, she's a little bit jacked up, traces were just ripped and pulled, and some of these might look a little better after cleanup, but it's really rough, really rough. Moving down the pickle, yep, that's that's gone. That's that's gone. You can see all the there's just there's nothing there to solder to on the, your left hand side there. And the story continues all the way down here. You can see through, and most of those are gone. If you hear any banging? My cat is in the litter box making a deposit. Now I also have some more hex inverters and some stuff in the crystal and yeah. Here's a little list. Alphabetical. To re Amiga, the Amiga that was re Amiga, it's going to take an Amber, Denise, Paula, Agnes, Western Digital SCSI chip, the odd and even CIAs, an O30 CPU, DMAC, Gary, new ROMs, chip RAM, three PALs, 646 buffers, 74 LSTIA, NE564 phase lock loop. Two vidiots, all the resistor packs, the amber glue logic, a serial port, a SCSI port, RCA left, RCA right, 48 capacitors, 74646 buffer chips, wire fixes, a bath, and an op amp. So just a couple things to get it rolling. This is a long-term project. Don't expect this thing to be done. I'm not sure I understand. Siri don't understand either. It does have a coin cell battery in it. This is going to be a challenge. This is some scary shit! And I'm hoping I can get it working. This is a PAL unit, so i got to get a PAL crystal. And uh, just start, start putting it back together. But i got to repair things before I can even start. So it's going to be a hundred or so hours in Amiga PCB Explorer. I'm not doing the CPU until last. Just to make sure i got the logic sorted. And I'm going to start populating things. So, 
over the course of the past several months that I've had this board, I have been slowly procuring parts for it. Let me put them in, and I'll surprise you with how many things I can scratch off of this list. Denise, yeah, she's OCS, but hey, take what you can get. Paula, a little crusty, but take, again, take what you can get. Yep, that's right. Amber, owner provided. 8372AB, Agnes, that ran me too much damn money. Fat freaking Gary, Buster, Ramsey, what I am missing is a Super DMAC. I can't find that mofo anywhere. CIA number one, CIA number two, 2.04 ROMs, one, WD33C93 Alpha Proto SCSI controller. Look, she's starting to, she's starting to look a little better. Three tries to put a CPU on. One, 28.37516 PAL Crystal kindly donated to me from Matthew at Amiga Kit. Thank you, Matthew, for that. So right now you can see I've crossed out just about 50% of the needs. Now, the hardest part on this sucker is going to be finding that elevated serial SCSI thing. I've never seen one in my life besides on an Amiga. Luckily this one was not ripped out. They actually solder sucked it out. Uh, as far as vidiots go, I think Amiga on the Lake sells those replacement vidiots. They're like $40 a shot, so I'm going to have to pick up two of those. One for Amber, one for RGB. Down here these 74 F646s. I bought a whole bunch of. These still have pins in them that was just ripped out. I'm going to clean this up with some debraid and pull these apart. This is what's left of a resistor pack. Resistor pack, resistor pack. They just obliterated it. I don't know why they just cut them out. Don't know the story. We're just here to save her. The Super DMAC is going to really hurt me. SCSI and Serial, not so much. I mean, if you don't have external SCSI, three Terminators, I don't know. That might be an owner find this and just solder it in when you can find it kind of thing. How's the bottom look? Like utter S. <laughs> The areas where she was slapped around a little too hard, there are some damages. There are some cuts and breaks and pokes. But I have a whole spool of bodge wire and a fresh, small tip. That's what she said. And as far as the amber logic goes up here, it needs a couple uh, transceivers. These are two function, four bits, so eight. What is that, an eight? Uh, whatever. Octobus transceiver. We need caps and an op amp over here, an LF347 or equivalent, an HCO4, oops, an HCO4 here, and an ALS74 alpha here. ALSs are faster. This is my favorite pan in the ass chip. And any 564 phase lock loop followed by a 74F163A transceiver. I need, oh god, just so many chips. There's another 174 that goes next to Agnes here. 373 I have. These are 646s, which I have. 74F08, no, 74F08 here. And this is the delay line uh, PAL. So 74F04 there, the delay line PAL here. I need another PAL here, and another PAL here. Which I have to find those chips and write those chips. F32 and a, a 74F07, 1713. How am I getting all those chip informations? Sprint layout viewer on the Amiga 3000 desktop files. Then I can do continuity tracing and beep beeps. There's a lot of pulled pads, lifted lines. This is in no way, shape, or form going to be easy. It is going to be extremely long, extremely time consuming. But I wanted to get a start on it, and I have been starting by collecting chips. Several of you guys even sent in some donations of some rare chips. 
like CIAs and Paulas and stuff, and I appreciate that. In the past, I've gotten a lot of ROMs. Most of them I used up and continue to dwindle down. I have attempted to burn my own when I can get blanks. I did buy a vast selection of blanks that were wrong and they will never work. They are 4096's, which are not, whoops, not pin compatible. Toshiba uh, 4096's, not pin compatible. Uh, some of these were given to me from uh, Mr. David. So, and I bought a box of them, which is somewhere, because I can't throw them away, because I figure I might have a use for them one day. I don't know what. So that is Amiga 3000 from hell, 2022, 2023. And it's taken me that long to get chips because things are expensive. I need a keyboard connector too. I didn't even see that. Keyboard connector. Luckily these are standard 5 din PC type keyboards. Four pins and a ground being the 5 din. I can get those. It might not match 100% but function over fashion at this point baby. When she's all tucked away and has got her bloomers pulled up you're never even going to know how hairy she's going to be underneath so that is where i'm at on project lt 3000 lt for long term i will be reporting back on this in dribs and drabs as i get her cleaned up patched up and do some repairs i'll try and document as much as i can on this and hopefully we'll be able to get this bad boy back to life i have done some pretty substantial damaged boards of battery death and this one's just she's just shredded up it's gonna be a lot of bodge wire so that's where the time consuming factor comes in is pinning out who goes what where and then fixing it underneath she's gonna have a beard i guarantee it but hopefully it'll be combined to small little areas we can cap and tape off slap her on her butt and send her back over to where she came from so that's all i got for now on this I hopefully I edit this to a quick update. Thank you guys for coming along on this journey and we'll continue on. Until next time, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.